Hey everybody, welcome to the Tuesday show. My name is Ultra David, this is James. How's everybody going? I mean, it's Tuesday for most people. For a lot of people, it the actually is Tuesday. The majority of the world is Tuesday. That's right? entirely accurate. So, there you go. We're sitting yeah. over here on the corner of the Western Hemisphere. So. <laughs> Only Hawaii, you know. Pretty is, much. Is, is, even mostly East Coast has to wait just another 20 minutes and it's Tuesday for them. Exactly. So, yeah. so the reason we're doing this is that I can't make the show tomorrow night. I've got family mm. stuff going on that uh, I'm going to be doing instead. <laughs> so Fine, be that way. No Tuesday show tomorrow, at least for me. You can do whatever you want. Okay, but, we'll see. We'll uh, see. So, but we did really want to get to the, some of the topics because a lot of important stuff has happened in the last week, week and a half. We started right, getting, yeah. getting to some of it last week. When we went over the Ultra Street Fighter 4 beta build Which analysis. Which takes us forever. Forever. So, yeah, we're probably going to try to finish as much of that as we can today. But, so, uh, the, the order is going to be that we'll talk about the Evo Games lineup. Right, because that's obviously the biggest news out of everything that happens. So. Definitely, definitely the biggest news. We'll talk a little bit about the SF4 rankings thing. We'll talk about the PXG online tournament mm -hmm. a little bit. And then we're going to just ramble on, I guess, about the, <laughs> the beta changes until we get tired or, I don't know. Because <laughs> finishing is really not a realistic option. Probably not, because it <laughs> took us like two hours to go through like uh, something like 40% of the cast. Yeah, I know, right? It's really so we'll sad. see what happens. Yeah, but yeah. anyway, EVO 2014 games lineup. Yes, so this was announced last week on Thursday on the fray. Uh, Joey revealed Mr. Joey, aka Mr. Wizard, revealed um, the God. You know, it's so weird because it's like six plus half plus half. So it's like there's seven games, but there could be eight. -ish. But yes, he revealed what the lineup was gonna be, and um, the lineup. I mean, when we talked about it last Tuesday, when we were trying to predict, mm. we were pretty close. Yeah, we were. Yeah, we were really close. So there's six games in the lineup. Yeah. Guaranteed. Obviously, right? Street Fighter 4 and Marvel 3 will be in there. Ultra Street Fighter 4 in particular, yes, he, yes. Mr. Wizard took pains to point out. Mm -hmm. Ultimate Marvel 3 will be in there. And then he started moving on to less guaranteed. Everybody knew that those were guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, Then, yeah, then yeah, he moved yeah. on to the less guaranteed titles. Right. And uh, it turns out, so I kept saying I really want KOF back. KOF yeah. made it. Uh, really wanted to have Bla Blaze Blue make it. Blaze Blue made it. Yeah. And then you know there was that whole like injustice, killer instinct. You know because we were like Melee's got to get in there, right? We had so. we had thought that Melee was another one of the guarantees. <laughs> mm -hmm, exactly. But uh, it turns out that the fifth and sixth spot went to Killer Instinct and Injustice, Gods Among Us. Now so. I thought Injustice was almost a lock. Like, I put it like just outside really? of. I put uh -huh. it just outside of those guarantees. Because I, I feel like it's it's getting among those other games, mm -hmm. it gets a lot of entrance and it gets some views and it's it has like its own community in, right. like, in a real kind exactly. of way. So exactly. um, anyway, those are the games. Uh, they also Mr. Wizard also talked a bit about Smash Melee though. Can people hear that? Probably. Jeez. There's a cat fight going on. <laughs> Literally. Okay. In any case, <laughs> yeah. So what were you saying <laughs> about Smash Brothers? Uh, so, let's see, while we are engaged, uh, here's a statement from Nintendo after, mm -hmm. after this all, all went down. While we are engaged in preliminary discussions with Evo about their upcoming event in July, the potential role of any Nintendo software at this event is undetermined at this time. Right, so here, here's the thing, right? I mean, Wizard basically said there is a seventh game at Evo, and it is Melee, and it's their spot. If Nintendo lets it go. Right, it's there, it's theirs to take if, if Nintendo right, allows it. Right, right, right. So yeah. pretty much the only thing holding it back is Nintendo's go ahead. Otherwise it would be a guaranteed seven games in the lineup. And I remember you bringing this up when we were talking about mm -hmm. the, the potential games lineup before it was announced. You, you said that is if Nintendo allows it. And, <laughs> and I brought up the fact that they sponsored AGDQ. Right. They gave a Wii U and Wind Waker HD mm -hmm. to that event. Uh, and I thought that that signified that they were more open to community interaction, to the community doing stuff with their games. Right. Uh, because, you know, uh, speedrunning is a competitive thing in kind of in the same way that playing Smash is. So it's it yeah. like go, playing through that game, it doesn't look like how most people play <laughs> right, Wind Waker. Right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, it's not like a, a good... 
like promo for this is how you play. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, I mean, honestly, the best the the, the 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 commonality between fighting games and the speedrun community game community is that we are trying to break games. Right. Right. So you watch Smash Brothers Melee. That's not how they wanted it to be played. Right. Then you watch Super Metroid, and you're like, where you're doing sequence breaks everywhere. Right. You know. So. You know, hopefully they're they don't care about that anymore. That's not one of their concerns. Well, I don't know. It seems like they're at least considering shutting it down. I, I don't know why else it wouldn't have been announced already. Right, right. I'm sure it's just. I'm hoping it's just discussions. Right. Me too. I just, I just hope it's discussions. But a lot of people kept asking me this question, in which is, there's obviously the question of Smash Four. Mm. Right. Yeah. If Smash Four came out in time for Evo, so Ultra's coming out in June. Or July, or it's coming out in June, right? Ultra is coming out yeah, in June, yeah. In June, so as long as we have a month to, to yeah. you know, get everyone practice. So let's say Smash 4, because there's no release date yet, right? So let's kind of say it comes out May, June time, or something right. like that. Would I be, would I prefer having that over Melee? Right. And um, I don't know, what, what would your response be? I would want to see the new one personally right i'm not heavily invested into that community uh, so i i don't want to speak for them but that would be my own preference just in the same way that i would want to see ultra i'd want to see the rebalance blaze blue right i, I just i want to see whatever the new stuff is yeah yeah you know? yeah so my response to everyone was we'd have to just see how good of a competitive game it is right? but and that's, and that's sort of i mean you you announce it or not at that at that period of time yeah, you can't I guess like that's true kind yeah. of like let's try it out for the next three weeks and then if mm. not we'll let you know a week before evo whether it's going to be in the lineup you got to just say whether it's going to be in the lineup that's or not, kind of a good regardless call. of whether yeah, it sucks yeah, kind nobody of knows call. i i wonder whether that factors in though like whether smash 4 coming out potentially before evo like i i wonder if like maybe that's part of this discussion that <laughs> nintendo wants to have like which right. of our games are you gonna have in there are you gonna have the ancient one or are you gonna have the new one right 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 um you know the one that that is serving as advertising for us or the one that you can hardly even find anymore <laughs> so um hmm. okay. that's that's my view on on smash uh but as far as the other games go there is a a very obvious game and entire category of games <laughs> <laughs> that's not involved right. there's no tekken there's yes. no soul, soul caliber there's no virtua fighter no doa there's no doa there are no 3d style fighting right. games at evo this year now one thing that uh, i did say last week is that i thought it would have been perfect if there were seven games in the lineup right yeah which were the six games and smash so my perfect lineup also would have excluded 3d games as well and that's not to say that I have any problems with 3D games, but, you know, I mean, to be honest with you, the perfect lineup really would have been eight games. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I, I guess that wasn't doable. I'm not going to I'm not gonna criticize right, or, or right, question right. them on that. But <laughs> I'm, I'm sad that there's no Tekken. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. When Wizard announced that KOF was in, I instantly got sad because I, I figured <laughs> they're not, they're not going to say no Blaze Blue. They're not going to say... It's, it's the animated game this year. Right, I'm not going right, to say right. No Injustice. It's the NRS game this year. Right, right. What about Killer Instinct, though, right? I, just, I figured it was in. Like They, <laughs> they were at EVO last year already. Okay? Right, right. And it's not that I think KOF is a bad game, but I, I, just, I feel like you have every 2D fighter, and then you have no 3D fighters. Yes. Like there's, there, there are lots of KOF specialists, but there's more of a crossover between KOF and other 2D fighters than there mm -hmm. is Tekken and any other non-3D game. You know what I mean? Right. So I, I feel like they're they're leaving out more people than they otherwise would have. Yeah. If, if there were Tekken. I mean, if if I may be allowed a little bit of criticism of the three D community, I mean, and this is not even the three D community problem. This is everybody's problem. I've been getting mad at people about this all over the place, which is the very um, like. If A contradicts B, people will complain about... People who are coming from the same side, like one person will complain about both. You know what I mean? So here's my example right now. A lot of people have always said stuff like, you know, for 3D games, they're always like, well, Evo's not our tournament. Final round is our tournament, right? Yeah, okay. We don't have to support Evo. Evo's not the big 3D tournament, blah, okay. blah, blah. And then Evo doesn't have it. And they're like, what? Why don't they have us? Evo is the biggest tournament. Like, they should have okay. Tekken, you know? And that kind of thing. And, you know, 
if you are mad that Evo's not going to have Tekken, and if you're going to complain that Evo's only a 2D fighting game tournament, you know, it's it's just like when Guilty Gear happened, right? When Guilty Gear got taken out of the lineup after the, 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 the shameful finals that one year, mm. their first reaction was, boycott Evo. Mm-hmm. And I was like, do the opposite. Go there and run a tournament. I know I've told the story a million times, but that's what they did, and Guilty Gear made it into the lineup the next year, right? And so it's just, it's this weird self-fulfilling prophecy problem that a lot of communities have, you know? If everybody from Tekken went out and supported last year and said, yes, we're going to treat EVO as as a really huge 3D event, it probably would be in the lineup this year. (laughs) I think they got Mm 300-something entrants. Right. I don't remember how many KOF had last year, but definitely more than that. Right, right. Uh, But I don't know how many it's going to have this year. It has not had good tournament numbers right kof Mm -hmm. Um, and it's a fun game to watch but it's a game that uh, seems like not many people play right uh, Right. at least in in, in tournaments anymore and it's it's that way for tekken 2 but between those two games i would rather have the one that is more different yeah yeah from the other games that are already included Mm -hmm, mm mm-hmm because I, I I I feel, I just I feel like this way there's the the whole three D community that doesn't have a reason to go to Evo right, other than right. for a, for for a side tournament. Whereas people who play KOF again, there are some specialists, mm-hmm. but there are also people who play KOF and Street Fighter, KOF and Marvel, mm-hmm. KOF and Blaze Blue, right, etc. Right, right. So I feel like there's more overlap. Yeah, uh, that's why I'm sad about it. I mean, I, what I'm hoping is right after the announcement, the lineup came out. Markman immediately said that he's going to see what he can do to run a Tekken side tournament, yeah. maybe at the Mad Cats booth or something yeah. like that. I hope that happens. Of course, I have the same reaction to Tekken as I do to the Guilty Gear situation when yeah. they were snubbed that one year, right? Yeah. So, come out, support the event, show that you have love for the event, and and go for it. You know what I mean? So I I. Totally agree. <laughs> I really hope that they do that. I hope that, that they that they don't view this as a reason to to further move away from Evo. Right, know, exactly. So. Even though it might be. Uh, <laughs> as far as KI goes, do you really, do you think, let, let me ask it this way, which game will have more entrants? KOF, Injustice, Blaze Blue, or Killer Instinct? Um, because you know that it's going to be Street Fighter, it's going to be Marvel, and if Smash is in there, it's right, going to have right, a ton right. of people too. Those I, will be the most. I think Injustice will be the fourth most. Okay. I think KOF will be the fifth most, and I think Killer Instinct will be the least. Okay, I, I'm not sure whether I think Blaze Blue will be more than than KOF. Um, maybe, maybe uh, not. Okay. Well, but, I mean, Blaze Blue's doing really well at SCR. They right. qualified to the 128 man yeah. cap. Yeah. So, a lot so of my guess, games. my guess might be Injustice. Mm-hmm. Blaze Blue, KOF, Killer Instinct. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. But as, as far as Killer Instinct goes, I guess, I mean, it's a new game. I understand why it's there. Right. I don't think it's going to get good numbers. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you... I don't think there you, are going to be many people playing that game at EVO. The reason why I don't think there's going to be a lot of people playing it is just because it's on Xbox One. Not oh, a well, lot, of course, yeah, yeah. Not a lot of people own Xbox One. That is the biggest barrier. You know, if it came out on the 360, I actually would think there would be a lot of people playing it I at think EVO. you're right. Yeah, yeah, so it's it's, de- it's not it's not the game itself. A lot of people enjoy the game, uh, e- even though I don't, I don't love the the combo system. I really like a lot of the characters. Yeah, I yeah, think they're yeah. really uh-huh. interesting. Um, so definitely more people will be playing. But nevertheless, there's the reality that it's on Xbox One. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I just I feel like it's not going to end up with very many entrants. Yeah. yeah, I mean I'm I'm hoping it does well because like I said, well, yeah. I'm I'm really rooting for. Uh, you know, the, the American company games right now, you know, and Killer Instinct is probably uh, one of the bigger, if not the, the biggest American... Well, actually, Injustice would it's be... between right. those yeah, two. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I think Injustice is probably number one. Killer Instinct is probably number two. And, you know, I would like to see these companies succeed more at of these course. events. Yeah. That's the reason why I would have wanted Killer Instinct at the event, okay. right? Okay. And also another thing is like Evo has, you know, as much as everybody gets mad at it or whatever like that and they always say, oh, companies buy their way in or whatever like that, like they've always managed to give newer games a chance more than people admit, right? So when the 360 first came out, we immediately added DOA to it, Mm. right? Because it was the first online game and there was this Mm. giant online community and none of them showed up. 
Oh, really? Nobody oh, wow. showed up. In fact, I think it was like an Evil West or an Evil East that like Jason Cole made top eight because nobody entered. Like he Yikes. was almost in top eight by default and stuff, you know? But um, it was just because they were so used to playing online, they didn't travel, and there was mm. no really news about fighting game communities, right? We right. Melty Blood got voted in the one year. Tatsunoku versus Capcom made it in, you know? That's true. So, th- you know, these games, there's... Actually, a really strong variety, and so it would yeah. make me feel bad if KI didn't make it. So, okay. Yeah. I mean, there's, like, this weird threshold. Like, the games, like, I don't know. Like, to try to give all the games a chance, but this, the game still has to be played pretty decently, right? Because there's some communities yeah. that are very small. Yeah. That, you know, obviously a lot of people are going to get mad about, like, Skullgirls or Dive Kick, right. for example, right? Right. So, um... Games yeah. that I would definitely love to have in, also cross right. decking, but I, you know I know the reality of it. Right, right, right. Yeah, exactly. So, and plus another thing, right now for Skullgirls, I mean we could probably, I don't know, save this for a news item too. But I mean, Skullgirls Encore is coming out yeah. on PS3 very, very soon. Right. So that's going to be really cool. I'm hoping that helps propel the scene up a little bit more. For sure. You know, to finally have that situation resolved and have it so that the game can receive Squiggly and then receive Big Band mm-hmm. and all that other stuff. So it's not yeah. going to be far behind on that version than the PC version. So Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, conclusion, I wish the Tekken had been in there. I would prefer to have had Tekken than both KOF and Killer Instinct. Mm. Um, I, under- yeah. I understand why those games are in instead. There's, I, I think, I mean, KOF is in there exclusively probably because of the hype that it brings yeah, in yeah. top eights which has been legit you know I, th- <laughs> that's been really fun to watch so i can't complain too much about that but i i would rather have had tekken because it's different and brings yeah, a, a new yeah. scene and i think that it it would have gotten more entrance than killer instinct yeah and you know what i mean i do want to echo I, I didn't see who said it in the chat but uh, someone mentioned this it was a while ago um very astute point like a lot of the people who are mad like you know why why didn't evo put tekken and whatever like that in there are probably a lot of the same people that when tekken is on stream everyone's like oh when's marvel resident right, sleeper yeah. Could be. you know what i mean so it's like i said I, I i can understand the complaints i just wish the complaints were consistent you know because like like i like there's, like, you know, okay, so my biggest complaint right now, my the one that drives me the most, right, is Evo's just another tournament. It's not that big. Oh, yeah. And oh. then, why doesn't Evo pay out more? It's the biggest tournament. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's like the same yeah. guy is complaining yeah, is. both sides, right? Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> it ah, if you can just be consistent with your complaints, mm-hmm. then I will be willing to talk to you a little bit more. But at this point, you're just complaining about everything from every side just to complain. You know what I mean? So. I hear you. Anyway, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, interested to hear about how the format goes with this mm-hmm. number of games. I wonder whether they will go back to all games on finals day or whether they'll stick to having a couple finishing on Saturday. Right, right. But um, I- I'm wondering if... Okay, so obviously we there's one other extra thing about the lineup that we didn't talk about, which is near and dear to our hearts that oh, we're yeah, super yeah, excited yeah. about, right? is that Super Turbo is having its 20th anniversary, and so Super Turbo is going to have a very strong presence at EVO this year. And number one, Tournament of Legends 2 is coming back. And you, if you remember Tournament of Legends 1, like a lot of people said that was like the most hyped thing from that weekend. Oh, yeah. That and was I know for, bonkers. Dude, for us, we were just like, ah, oh, yeah. all over the place. <laughs> but not only that, but X-Mania, which is the premier Japanese Super Turbo tournament. Yeah which has recently in the past couple of years taken to the road and shown up at Europe the last two years, this year it's going to be at EVO. So not only are we going to have tournaments of Tournament of Legends 2, but we're going to have X-Mania at EVO. And dude, like... I was so excited. Dude, I just about exploded. Because I... Yeah. Dude... Yeah. I, like, I, I had no idea that that was a possibility i mean yeah, I, right? uh-huh. I didn't i didn't know about tournament of legends but when i heard it i i was happy and surprised but not like blown away yeah. because it's happened before right x mania dude I, I had no idea that, that was even can't. in the ballpark wait 
I hope it brings out a lot of the Japanese players, the the Japanese ST experts. Oh yeah, because there's too many people in America who still think Nuki is like one of the like the greatest ST yeah. players. Dude, the ST players out there, there's so much more than just Nuki and Daigo oh, when yeah. it comes to Super Turbo. You know, so I hope a lot of people make it out. Oh, that's be, be so, so exciting. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, the reason why I brought this up is yeah. because I don't know if. One of them's gonna be a Saturday night okay. thing. One okay. of them's gonna be a Friday night thing. Okay. You never know, right? So I can see that. But um, dude, so Bob Painter, aka Karopi, uh, one of the basically the guy, main guy in charge of Tournament of Legends and the ST Revival group. Dude, he did you see the poster he put up on the site? Actually, I did not. The poster that's the 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 new version of the previous poster with all the tournaments listed and who's gonna. Dude, I saw that and I was like, I I think I had tears. I like, haven't seen I the new one, like, man. I gotta oh. see. I, I have I have the old one with signatures from yeah. all players. It's hanging up in my room. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. that is that is a, a memento for me. <laughs> I don't really have a lot of those. So yeah, exactly. You're gonna you're gonna bring up yeah, the, the picture here. Up. Yeah, I'll see if I can bring it up and uh, get it onto the stream. So okay. Uh, let's see. So this is the old one here. Um, where's the news? Oh, it's blog. probably under blog. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Um, nope, not here. Let's see, it's ST Revival. You need to rearrange your uh, your website a little bit more, Bob. ST Revival <laughs> website. Oh, okay, okay. So it might just have its own dedicated website now. Seems like it. Yep, strevival.com. There you go. So. Well, while this is happening, I just I want to respond to a couple of tweets and stuff. Uh, I'm not saying that KOF is a bad game at all. Um, I'm, I think that it's better than a couple of the games that, can, that are going to be at EVO, uh, for sure. Um <laughs> But nevertheless, <laughs> I would still have preferred to see Tekken just because of the different community. Right, right, right. It's just a variety thing, getting yeah, more, variety more thing. players in more there players. and stuff like that. Exactly. I mean, I really do want the Tekken players to make it out there, and I really, really do want them to attend Mark Mann's tournament if, if they can, because, I mean... I, I want them to just basically show that, you know, same thing that I said about the Guilty Gear community, right? That yeah. it does matter to them, that they want to fight for this, that they want it to happen, you know? And, okay. and you're not going to do that by boycotting. Right. Like, everyone always thinks boycotting is the answer, like... Yeah. But it's actually, like, the exact opposite thing of what you should right. do, right? So, hopefully, hopefully that they'll show up, so... Can you get this up there? Yeah, let me try, let me try... Uh, what was that? That was Firefox? I think it yeah. is. Yes, there it is. So, doo -doo -doo. one of these days we will get like a stream producer to actually, like, you know, probably do not. Do these things. With... Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I don't know how we would convince anybody to do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, there we go. There we go. So, this is the hey. poster right here. And uh, obviously a lot of events ha are still to be determined, but you can already see here there's going to be some Japanese invites, there's going to be a SoCal Regionals final round, Texas Showdown, EC Throwdown, Next Level Arcade Legacy, some Super Arcade Qualifier nice. tournaments. Dude, I don't know about you. And then EVO uh, qualifiers, I guess. Yeah, there's actually going to be qualifiers at EVO. NCR. So I don't know about you, but, dude, I'm... I'm in there. Like I know we talked about. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, I've got to try, dude. Okay. I've got to try, man. So, just, I, I tried at the last tournament of legends, and I, I feel like I was two spots away from qualifying. Yeah, if I recall correctly. yeah, yeah. Something like that. A couple of times, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. That's like right. A, there were multiple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. But dude, I'm, I'm, I'm in there. I'm in there. So. Now, I'm almost thinking about, like, sitting down and, like, really actually learning Vega for my bad matchups and, mm. like, stuff like that, so, but... Interesting. Instead of just being, like, casual Vega user. <laughs> well, who would you play him against that you don't play Kami and, Sagat like, and uh, Ken against? Like, maybe Old Sagat or something like that, because Old uh, Sagat is Old one of the Sagat big beat, problems, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, if it, well, was, if it was Honda, I would play Ken, for sure, okay. right? Yeah. You know that firsthand. So. I do, I do. <laughs> anyway, so that's oh, yeah. uh, ST it's going to be there um it sounds like a great event i mean criticisms aside I, i'm still sure it's going to be awesome so okay well it'll be awesome to see oh, killer yeah, instinct yeah, too yeah, probably yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, show up well so yeah i mean i'm i'm really excited for it and mm -hmm. i'm i'm excited now that other tournaments get to see what's going to be in the evo lineup right. and that's going to have i'm sure an influence on the games that they play 
I mean, so, I'm, yeah. I'm sure a lot of people are going to get on my case for saying that I'm, like, hating on the, the Tekken community or whatever like that. Again, mm. it's not what I'm doing. I'm not hating on them. It's just, you know, it's just, like I said, if you want the event to... if you and This goes with anything, not even just Evo, right? If you want a group to respect you, you do it by showing respect for them, mm -hmm. right? It's kind of the same way, right, with sponsors in the exact same situation. All the players are saying, why aren't the sponsors researching us? No, your job is to make the sponsors. Okay. You, sh you have to get them to understand why, right? Okay. And so if you want a game to be in a tournament, you got to get them to understand why, you know, and yep. that's, that's the way it works. And you do that by supporting, by having big numbers at final round, having big numbers at UFGT, big mm -hmm. numbers at CEO, mm -hmm. big numbers at NCR. Even last year at NCR, the Tekken players got really mad when Tekken started on Friday or something. And so a whole bunch of that's SoCal right, yeah. players didn't go. They were like, That's well, right. you, you screw you guys. You guys aren't putting us at a convenient time. You know, yeah. That's the problem. And meanwhile, the KOF community, 10 in the morning, super hype. You know? Right. Yeah. Not to say that Tekken hasn't done that. Tekken was the first game one year, and they were super hype as well. Tekken was pretty sick last year, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah with Bronson. Bronson. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, anyway, in any okay. case, not hating on their community, just saying, you know, attitude shift. Cool, man. That's all. So. All right. All right. Well, let's take a break. Yep. And when we come back, we're, we have a couple more news items, I think, before we jump into USF4. Right. Okay. All righty. Hey, welcome back to the Tuesday show. So to continue on with news before we get to Ultra Street Fighter 4... Today, actually, uh, just a little bit earlier today, was a new announcement from Shoryuken about a Street Fighter wo world ranking system. Yes, and uh, this was a project that was started by, uh, I'm not even going to pronounce his name right. Go back to the site Yeah, again. I just was posting it. His name is uh, Bavo Brilant. Brilant, maybe? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, he had started this project a while ago. And, um, you know, uh, I know the guys at SRK got word of it and they worked with them and now basically incorporated it into SRK. And so, um, you know, it's really kind of a neat system so far. So Yeah, have you looked into it much? Have you uh, explored it? I haven't looked at the formulas or anything like that, yeah. exactly how it works. But I know that he did a lot of research into, for example, the, the, the tennis right. uh, ranking system. I mean, even though I know men and women's tennis use different ranking systems, mm -hmm. so I'm not sure which one he went off of or anything. But uh, it's really cool, actually. It's, it's right now it's only for Street Fighter Four. Yeah. But uh, basically, if you go to what is it? S it's rank dot dot com. That's right. Uh, you can go there and see the, uh, the the scoring system that he came up with and and the results of what it is. Yeah, and and it's nice because on that show you can post. They go all about or all into how it's done. So there's right. there's nothing that's being kept secret here. There's mm -hmm. no like hidden BCS factor that nobody understands. <laughs> it's all out there, which uh -huh. is great. Yeah, yeah. And you know, um, we t I know I talked about it a little bit with GYT online. You know, I said I would like to see it expanded to Marvel yeah. and to you know all the other games. Mm -hmm. You know, but of course uh, GYT brought up a good point. Glenn, he was like, I'd like to see it so that Street Fighter Four gets the system gets ironed out really well, mm. and then let's okay. apply it to everything else. Okay. And, I, and I agree with that, and because Street okay. Fighter Four is the most um, is the most international game anyway, yeah. it always gets the highest numbers. So right. let's let's make sure we can get that system working so far. Yeah, that that definitely makes sense. I, I mean, I, I haven't really looked into how it's done. I'm interested to see how mm. you know smaller tournaments are weighted and, and right. all that stuff. But it has infiltration being the best player in the world. That's kind of hard to disagree <laughs> yeah. with. I Shen mean, is number two. And yeah, if you look at the top ten, Fudo, then Sako, then Daigo, then Tokido, then Gamer B, then Justin, then Mago, and then Pierre Balrog. Yeah, I mean, it's hard <laughs> to argue with yeah, that, you know? I mean, it's like, yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, so, yeah. As, yeah. As, as you look at the whole top whatever, in fact, mm -hmm. it, it's pretty legit. And I was really interested to see how deep it goes. You know, it's not just the top oh, 50. That's true. Huh? It's not just the top 100. Um, it actually goes back quite a ways if my internet yeah, will work. Yeah, fact... Not counting international players, Harrison SBA is listed as the highest Cody player from America in there. Are you serious? <laughs> wow, something's yeah. wrong. 
<laughs> but you can sort by country, and you can sort by char character too, which is really cool. So if you want to see who the best Makotos are, you'll see that number one is obviously going to be Haitani, and then you'll see right. everybody afterwards. So, but that's actually really cool. So. Yeah, well, yeah. my internet's broken or whatever, yeah. computer's broken, but it goes back at least 10 pages, which is awesome. That's 500 okay. people. Yeah, and, you know, um, it's 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 a really cool thing to get that integrated into mm -hmm. a Shoruken site, you know, because he had the site before. I think it was, like, SFO rankings before. Mm. And, um, you know, it's just like the, the Moxoplata.net site that we always talk about, right? Nobody knows about that site. It's a right. great site. It is, yeah. Because it has all the records and everything like that, and... Um, you know, people have been talking about a lot of player profile stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I know, like, I start, I try, I created a default player profile page and stuff like that. But a lot of the information on the page that I want to create are already on the Maxo Plata site. So I was just like, why am I duplicating work? So I mean, sites like these, getting them integrated to SRK, I think is a really cool thing. You know, gets more eyes on them. But then also, it's still that guy's project. It's still that guy. Right. You know, like um, the guy who made the SFO rankings, It's still he's still the one maintaining it and doing all the work. So fruits of his labor are still intact. So. And uh, we forgot to talk about this when we were talking about Evo, but the, the way that you get seed points for Evo is different oh, this time right. around. Yeah, right? yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. not like there's a set number of tournaments that are um, tournaments that you can earn Evo points at. Last year, there were just a few. The year before mm -hmm. that, there were a million right uh, and and now they're just i i think that it's it's going to be incorporated into this in some way right with the the rankings uh i don't mm -hmm. know how they're going to do it but um it's going to be something involving that so right right that's cool mm -hmm. so that's happening uh what else are we going to talk about uh well i i touched on it but uh skullgirls encore is ah, yeah. coming out now so skullgirls is definitely getting a resurge here which is really exciting right um Big Band was targeted for around a March release, I think now, so uh, hopefully Big Band will be out there. But Squiggly, who's been out on the PC version for a while, hasn't made it to any of the home, to the console versions. But now Skullgirls Encore on PSN will be coming out. Um, I, I believe the PlayStation is the one that it's going to get updated automatically, right? Um, you'll automatically get changed from one to the other. What, so one of the consoles was, if you own Skullgirls, you'll download a patch and it'll change it to Skullgirls Encore. Uh -huh. The other one, the other console is, if you own Skullgirls, you will be sent a code to get a free copy oh, of yeah, Skullgirls Encore. Right. So no matter which system you're on, it will be free, but I do know the PlayStation 1 is coming out sooner than than the Xbox One, and uh, so this the the PlayStation people. I mean, if you look at the change list, it's interesting because if you've been following the PC version, it's been little changes as it's mm -hmm, gone. Mm -hmm. They released the change list for Skullgirls for PS3, and the list right, is yeah. just gigantic. Yeah, for sure. Because like, oh, we added this to training mode. Oh, right. we did this. You know, the, right. the infinite prevention system is completely different now. Right. You know, so you know it'll be it'll be really uh. Cool. So, so someone says that uh, 360 is the one that's going to get patched into the new version, and gotcha. PS3 is the one where you'll get the code. So, cool. There you go. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So that's exciting. So hopefully. definitely. Yeah. Um, let's also talk about uh, the PXG online tournament <laughs> yeah. that happened right. yeah, yeah, yeah. over this past weekend. Uh -huh. Seemed like a, a lot of people enjoyed it, actually. Yeah. I, I don't know how many people entered, but I I heard uh, quite a few, and it. You know, I, I watched a bit of it, uh, top eight and a little bit before top eight, and the play was good. You know, I mean, yeah, it, again, yeah, yeah. this is this is online. It, people are playing from wherever they're playing, but it seemed like it was very well run. Mm -hmm. It was it moved very quickly from from match to match, so that was awesome. However, they ended up doing that right, was great. Right. And and the the gameplay, you know, I mean, you could tell that there were times when there was lag. For example, when when Flo was playing uh, against Jewel Man. He did toward short care cancel, uh, I'm sorry, um, FADC toward rather mm -hmm. than doing tiger tiger shot FADC toward. Oh, he just like screwed it up. Okay, it's just, right, it's, right, it's, right. He said it just yeah, kind of like yeah, stalled yeah. for him right there. Right, right, right. So right, I mean right. that happened a couple times, but overall it seemed to me like there was legit stuff. I mean all the players who who were in top eight were legit players. Yeah, they were really people good. were ripping on the Seth player who did really well, but. Just because he's a Seth player. <laughs> yeah. I mean, everybody gets mad uh, about uh, that. Uh, but he had some really smart stuff. And he got to Within grand the Seth final. context. Yeah, yeah, he got to grand finals versus Justin Wong. Right. He had to win two sets, and he 
Dominion himself, right? I mean, he yeah. won five in a row. And then Justin came back with three in a row and won it. So. Did you see when he taunted Justin? Yeah, and that... Dude, everybody knows you don't do that. In fact, there's a video nope. on Marvel where someone taunted Justin. I think it was at SCR, like, the first year when he was running the Iron Fist team. And someone taunted him, and then he immediately just, like, died afterwards. You know, it's just not Don't good. do it. Just don't, don't do it. it. No, but he, I mean, he played well overall. <laughs> I hope to see that guy come out. Yeah. I heard he's from Texas. Um, oh, is he? Know. Okay. I remember Jewel Man did really well Dude, at, in EVO is Online. Is Texas, like, the ultimate online state or something? I don't because, know. Yeah. But, but both those players did well. They were both top eight. Because Broly Legs also is a very good online player, right? Broly Legs. So there you go. There you go. So, yeah. yeah. Um, the internet's down in Texas must be better than ours. Or something. Probably. It's not, it's not hard to be better than my internet, let me tell you yeah. that. Uh, ML Swear, the Hakan player, did did well. Um, oh, cool. Okay, he, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's it's tough to play that character in, a lot of, in, in laggy situations because, or in any lag situations, because his combos are all one and two frame lengths. It's really, I mean, if you, if you don't have the exact timing, then you're not going to get the exact timing. And that's what, that's what happened. I mean, you could see he, he made good decisions, but then just dropped combos. Mm -hmm. And, his, you know, the combos would have been into a hard knockdown, into good meaty pressure. Right, 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 but right. instead, the opponent got a Dragon Punch FNC right, right, Ultra. Right, right, it's like completely a swing. So. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, the thing that about happens. it is the nice thing about internet connection is that it is, um, it is not biased. <laughs> right. Right, totally. <laughs> right, you know? It happens it, to everybody. Whoever ha it happens to, it, it happens to. Yeah, There's no, I, I, I don't want to come off, uh, come across uh, downplaying the value of the mm -hmm. tournament or anything. Um, I mean, I thought it was a great idea. It seemed yeah. like it was run really well. I liked watching the matches. I'd love to see more of it. Yeah, I heard that they even got up to like 4K people watching it. There so, were. You know, if it, if, it, if it can happen more often, if we can start running more online tournaments, I think that's kind of exciting, you know? I, I think, agree. I think that's really cool. So, shout outs to Panda X Gaming for doing this. I mean, Definitely. there's not a lot of groups out there trying this with Street Fighter, right. with Capcom games, and, or with fighting games game, at all, yeah. right? So. You know, shout outs to Panda X Gaming for doing this. And, you know, for a game like Killer Instinct that has amazing online, like, That'd be why great. hasn't yeah. there been an online Killer Instinct? That's a really yet? good question. You know, Double Helix, come on, man. Filthy, That's a really filthy, good question. Get on it. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. Anyway, okay. that was good. Uh, um, what else? There was something else we want to talk Oh, UFGT. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So, Keats just announced that this will be the final UFGT that is part of what the X stands for, is that, you know, it's going to get crossed out, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that didn't actually make much sense to me, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. <laughs> I, saw, I saw him say that, and I was like, what are you talking about? Right. But anyway, it's it's UFGT Ultimate Fighting Game Tournament in the Chicago area. Uh, it's been a very well-run tournament mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. the last few years, as, as Keats has, has uh, taken it over. and It's a, it's a really interesting tournament. It, it always is. Uh, not just in the gameplay, but in what you can do outside of the actual fighting game tournaments there. Mm -hmm. There are always other interesting options that you can do. A ton of casual setups, interesting games that Keats makes, that his dad makes, right. they bring in. Really fun to play. So I'm, I'm sad to see it go because it had a different spin on yeah. the fighting game tournament than most do. It, it was definitely its own thing. Yeah, but um, one interesting thing, though, is that Keats did kind of clarify a little bit online that he's not done running tournaments. Right. It, interesting enough, it's just the last UFGT because running UFGT is a much more involving kind of thing because they set up that casual area with the other games. Right, yeah, the other games. They have the mystery tournaments. That must take so all, much research. Yeah. So all this stuff that they do, and so what he doesn't want to do is have a UFGT 11 with a lot of stuff stripped down right. and to, you know, you know, UFGT is a name reserved for something big and major, right? Yeah. So he may still run tournaments after UFGT. And this is, this is what I got from his tweet. So Keats, if I'm wrong about this, you know, but, yeah. but just let me know. But it sounds like he may still run tournaments, just yeah, not under the UFGT name and nothing of the, the scale that UFGT was. So Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm sorry to hear that. I understand that there are other pressures on him now. He's working um, in video game development quite a bit, and that has its own pressures with respect to running tournaments. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah. You know, you don't want to seem like you're favoring and, and all that stuff. So I understand why he wouldn't want to do it quite as much as uh, anymore. And he got a ton of ridiculously unnecessary crap and flack from people last year for <laughs> BS yeah, that yeah, we don't need to go back yeah, into. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah so I'm, I'm sad to see it go. Yep, but hopefully he'll still be running more tournaments. Hope so. I'm sure they'll all be 
run on time and such like that. I would think know? so, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, the funniest thing is I actually saw a, a post on Facebook that made me kind of go, oh, man, I'm really sad about this from Wolf Crone. Mm. And he was just like, season's beatings and now UFGT, what's happening to all the Midwest tournaments, you know? Yeah. And I don't know. Hopefully some other group steps up and starts running, you know, a, a, a very large major in the Midwest area. So. And, and I, I would also really like it if some other tournaments took a lesson from UFGT mm -hmm. and just bit a lot of the cool stuff that they do there. If they're going to, if they're, it's not going to happen again, just completely bite what he does <laughs> and, and, you know, run a mystery tournament, run the character auctions. Right, right, right. If you don't want to make your own games outside of fighting games i understand that that's yeah, a little bit more involved yeah, yeah, yeah. but at least do do those two things because nobody else does those and they're so <laughs> fun and interesting yeah yeah, yeah. So. for sure okay anyway i guess uh, that's it about that yep um was there anything else or do you want to just go into the the beta characters finally we might as well just go into this yeah, beta thing because we only have like 40 minutes left well actually today we can go as long we as we goes, want yeah, there's no because there's no show that sucks coming out afterwards right right, so, right. yeah uh, and yeah. we usually go to 10 30 anyway yeah, if you think about yeah. it. Oh, that's true, huh? On Mondays. Yeah, okay, So, all right, okay. we have a little bit more of an hour. We'll take a break first. Yes, yes, and then Let's we'll... Let's take a break. We'll come back with Ultra Street Fighter IV uh, beta change analysis, mm -hmm. starting with, I think, Evil Ryu, if I recall correctly. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Okay, we'll be right back, guys. Okay, so let's get to the Ultra Street Fighter 4 uh, beta change list. It was revealed, oh, a week and a half ago mm -hmm. at this yeah. point, yeah. Uh, the, the end of January, and it's on Shoryuken. In fact, I'll post this in the chat 30 seconds ahead of whenever anybody gets <laughs> to actually hear what I'm saying. Yeah, pretty much. So s scroll back up to 30 seconds ago and, and find it. Uh, we already went through a bunch of the cast. We yes. went from Abel... Uh, alphabetically speaking, able to El Fuerte. And that's already up on our YouTube channel. If you want to see the replay, youtube.com slash Uh Those episodes are already up there. Uh, we talked also about the game system changes. Yay. 